If you clicked on this video, you've probably been searching for ways to get ungated that have led you to spending hundreds or thousands of dollars. My method has gotten me ungated in dozens of major brand names while actually making money in the process. So stay tuned so I can show you exactly how it's done. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm just notified. And in this playlist, I go over a lot of information and tips to help you be more successful on platforms like Amazon. If you enjoy content such as this, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so YouTube can send this video out and help more people such as yourself. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video is because I get comments all the time from new sellers who tell me that they spent thousands of dollars that they're not going to see back just to get ungated in a brand or two. And as someone who's new to the platform, you can really put yourself in a hole before you even get started selling on Amazon. I mean, case in point, I had somebody send me a comment in my last upload saying that I saved them from spending a thousand dollars just to get ungated in a particular brand. So because of things like this, I really do wanna to try to fix the stigma in the reselling community that ungating is a very complicated, very expensive thing to do. So before I get into all the information, I just want to know how much money would you say that you've thrown away in trying to get ungated in certain brands on Amazon? And no need to be ashamed. Go ahead and leave your answers in the comment section because I guarantee you there's a lot of new sellers that have done some of the same things. But we're going to change that today because I'll be showing you six examples of major brand names and the exact items that I use to get ungated while making money in the process. So make sure you stick to the end of the video because these items could still be available to be purchased and used to get ungated on Amazon. And the six brands that I'll be going over will be Nike, Adidas, Skechers, Barbie, Disney Frozen, and Funko. Now to disprove some of the myths that I'm sure you've been hearing in other videos, you do not need to do business with a distributor. You don't need a reseller certificate. And in fact, to get ungated, I've been using the everyday retailer Kohl's. Now the reason I use Kohl's is because they provide an Amazon accepted proof of purchase document with every order. Now if you were to look at the pros and cons of using my method, the pros are it's really fast and it's super simple. And to look at the cons, and I can't even really classify this as a con, but if you want to make the most profit off of these items, it does require a little bit of patience. And the reason why is you do wanna buy items that are a significant amount less on Kohl's than they are being sold on Amazon. So with that, you may have to wait for an item to be marked down or to hit clearance for you to make the most money off of it while you're getting ungated in that brand name. So with all that information out the way, let's go ahead and get into the examples. And just in case you are not aware, Amazon requirements do state in your selling application, your invoice needs to reflect a combined purchase of at least 10 units. So all these orders that I'm gonna show you are gonna be fairly larger quantity orders. So let's just go ahead and start off with the big one, Nike. So for this, I bought 20 pair of pink toddler sandals for a total of $279.29 or $13.96 a unit. Each pair of these sandals were selling on Amazon for $35.15, making me a little bit over $10 of profit a unit. I sold out of this inventory and the gross sales was a little bit over $700, and after fees and cost of goods, I pocketed over $200 while getting ungated in Nike. So all those $1,000 courses can go kick rocks. Now moving on to the next example, it's gonna be Adidas. And for this, I bought 20 pair of soccer shorts for a total of $162.38 or $8.12 a unit. Now they were selling on Amazon for $25 each, making me over $8 of profit a unit. Now to date, I've sold 10 units so far with the gross sales being $250, but once the remaining inventory sells, my total gross sales will be about $500. So after fees and cost of goods, I'll pocket about $170 while getting ungated in Adidas. Next, we're gonna move on to Skechers. And for this, I bought 10 pair of girls light up shoes totaling $229.93 or $22.99 a unit. I sold each pair of these on Amazon for $53, making me over $16 of profit a unit. I sold out of this inventory, so my gross sales were almost $600. So after fees and cost of goods, 
I pocketed about 160 bucks while getting ungated in a major brand name in Skechers. Now just a really quick pro tip, every reseller that's watching this video needs to sign up for a cashback app called Rakuten because that will also help increase your margins while you're selling on Amazon. And they have a promotion that's going on right now. So if you use my link in the description below, it'll be free to sign up and they'll give you $30 just for using their services when you're sourcing product. So you're gonna wanna make sure to do that because trust me, you'll be losing money without it. All right, for our next ungating brand, let's move on to Barbie. And for this, I bought 10 styling heads that totaled $108.14 or $10.81 a unit. These were selling on Amazon for $27.17, making me almost $6 of profit a unit. And to date, I've sold four units so far with the gross sales being $104. Once the remaining inventory has sold, the total gross sales will be about $270. So after fees and cost of goods, I'll pocket almost $60 while getting ungated in Barbie. Moving on now to Disney Frozen. And for this, I bought 12 slime design toys that totaled $44.88 or $3.74 a unit. I sold each of these on Amazon for $17, making me almost $5 of profit a unit. And I sold out of this inventory with a gross sales total of over $200. And with that, I pocketed 60 bucks after Amazon fees and cost of goods while getting ungated in this brand. Now this next brand I know a lot of people go after and it's Funko. So for this, I bought 37 basketball figurines that totaled $388.13 or $10.49 a unit. They're selling on Amazon for $28.99, which would make me over $10 of profit a unit. Now for this one, I actually have not sold any as of yet because the buy box just recovered up to my listing price at $28.99. So I'm really hoping to start selling them soon. And once I sell out at this price, the total gross profit will be about $1,070. So after fees and cost of goods, I'll pocket almost $400 while getting ungated in this sought after brand. So again, just a reminder, I purchased all of these items off of Kohl's.com to get ungated. So if you were looking to do the same, they may still have these items available at a good price where you can go ahead and get approved to sell them as well. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the whole reason why I created this piece of content is that I wanted to prevent people, especially new sellers to the platform, from falling into this trap, throwing thousands of dollars down a rabbit hole to get ungated. And you have the power to help as well by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel, which will allow YouTube to spread this video to a wider audience. And for additional ungating tips for all of my loyals who are still tuned into this video, let me know who you are by spamming up a 100 emoji in the comment section. So if watching this video, you don't wanna wait for a sale or a markdown and you're looking to start getting ungated right now, I do have some tools that can help you. Linked in the description below, our full step-by-step -step walkthrough ungating guides for Nike, Lego, and DVDs. They're instant downloads, so you can go ahead and get started right away. So if you're interested, go ahead and check those out. And if you wanna learn how to sign up and use the Racket and Cashback app, or if you'd like to see me walk you through step-by-step -step how to apply to be ungated with the Kohl's invoice, go ahead and check out these videos next. I'll see y'all next time.